Perhaps you may not be aware that the Cybertruck dual motor is Elon's preferred choice over the Cyberbeast. We have observed significant upgrades compared to what was leaked earlier for this variant. Thanks to its ability to charge fully in just 18 minutes with Megacharger's V4, the potential of Cybercell 4680 Gen 2 technology has been recognized authentically. This has led to several hypotheses that new advanced battery technology will be applied to the Cybertruck in the future, potentially extending its range to a full 400 miles without the need for an expansion package. So how will the Cybertruck continue to be the focal point in 2024? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. The current dual motor configuration is being offered at a reasonably competitive price, falling around $72,990 after applying the U.S. federal tax credit. This is a key factor that ensures the revenue for this variant is undoubtedly higher compared to the Cyberbeast. When considering the range of performance, it not only holds its ground, but also exhibits superior aspects even compared to the tri-motor. Why is the Cybertruck dual motor a valuable choice at present? You heard it right. The dual motor variant of this pickup truck is very worth of consideration for purchase at the moment considering various factors compared to other variants. It's undergone remarkable changes from the metrics Elon Musk publicly disclosed in the past. Let's first talk about the range of this variant. We are inclined to dub it with a name that Tesla uses for other models, such as the Cybertruck Long Range, because it boasts the highest range among the versions at an impressive 340 miles. The manufacturer has shown particular favor to the dual motor in creating a standout point even when it's not the highest tier variant. We've learned that both the Cybertruck all-wheel drive and the Cyber Beast share the same 130 kilowatt hour battery size. To get an extended range version, you would need to invest approximately $16,000 to increase the battery pack to 173 kilowatt hours. If you're willing to spend this considerable amount to make your vehicle go further, consider whether the 470 miles offered are what you truly need in terms of an upgrade. In 2019, the dual motor variant was announced with a range of only 300 miles per charge. However, Elon Musk managed to make audience expectations worthwhile by metaphorically suggesting an annual increase of 10 miles leading to a range of 340 miles by the year 2023. Alongside this range, the cost is a determining factor that constitutes 80% of a vehicle's appeal, and the Cybertruck is no exception. Its release with a substantial price increase of up to 60% left many customers disappointed. While this price hike was somewhat surprising considering various factors, the cost of the dual motor variant has only increased by 20%. It remains relatively stable, making it a viable purchasing option for 2024. The reality is that $50,000 in 2019 is equivalent to $60,000 today, given the challenging economic years the United States has experienced over the last four years. With a 20% price increase, customers now get significantly more impressive specifications than in 2019. In addition to the $7,500 federal tax credit, customers can also receive support from states with electric vehicle incentive programs, such as up to $5,000 in Colorado or other states like Texas offering $2,500. After all, if you qualify for EV credits and can avail of significant state incentives, you can purchase the Cybertruck all-wheel drive at a reduced price of $67,500. This is why we believe the dual motor variant is truly worthwhile for customers to invest in at the current moment. So, how do you feel about the price for this variant? Please share below in the comments. Now, let's delve into the performance. Acceleration metrics have undergone significant development for the dual motor, although it can't match the Cyber Beast in some aspects. Importantly, it has improved substantially over the prototype. At its 2019 launch, this variant was publicly stated to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. 
and the precise figure we have now is 4 seconds, a noteworthy reduction. However, the top acceleration has seen a decrease from 120 miles an hour to 112 miles per hour. As we noticed in terms of performance, Tesla has balanced the metrics to make this pickup stable with the dual motor while avoiding potential risks. Finally, the towing capacity has also been increased from 10,000 pounds to 11,000 pounds, putting it on par with the performance of the Cyberbeast Tri-Motor. By now, you've likely noticed Tesla's prioritization for this variant, focusing on upgrading crucial metrics such as range, cost-effective performance, and towing capacity. For pickup truck buyers, these four factors are compelling enough for them to decide without any hesitation. Returning to the towing capacity, we've learned that the two motors, front and rear, can generate over 300 horsepower each, combining for a total of 600 horsepower. Overall, to achieve a towing capacity on par with the Cybertruck Tri-Motor, the drivetrain of this long-range variant must be truly advanced and sophisticated. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it is comparable to the version sold at the higher price point of $99,990. How do you feel about these performance specs of dual motor compared to Cyberbeast? Let's discuss. Besides some operating parameters, indicators related to Cybertruck's charging capabilities also cause a lot of curiosity for those who have not yet found out about it. How amazing is Cybertruck's capability? While you may perceive this as an exaggeration or falsehood, it has been confirmed that the Cybertruck can indeed charge at a rate of up to 350 kilowatts on the Mega Charger V4. Consequently, this pickup truck minimizes the need for owners to spend extended periods waiting for a charge, as it can charge from 15 to 85 percent in just 18 minutes. It's indeed remarkable, considering that prior expectations were that it might take 25 minutes or more to charge from 10 to 80 percent, even with the introduction of the 800 volt architecture. The combination of fast charging capability and a substantial range will officially make the Cybertruck a game changer across North American roads. Speaking of charging capability, there's a prevailing opinion that Tesla needs to significantly expand the supercharger network beyond short haul routes from highways, even though the current infrastructure is already excellent. We found that Tesla is actively adding seven new supercharger sites every two days. This figure, exclusive of supercharged sites in China, is for North America alone. It strongly suggests that the installation pace has accelerated significantly in recent years. With each 15-minute charging session, the Cybertruck can cover an additional 128 miles. In this context, the 4680 battery technology undoubtedly plays a crucial role in enabling such rapid charging speeds. Through the Cybertruck's charging capabilities, the potential of this battery technology seems to be somewhat more affirming for what we can expect in the future. Currently, the Cybertruck is utilizing the Cybercell 4680 Gen 2 battery. There are rumors that the third or fourth generation might help the Cybertruck achieve a range beyond 400 miles without the need for an expansion package. While the cost may increase, it is expected to be less than the $16,000 required for the expansion package. Therefore, the 4680 battery is something very promising for the future of Cybertruck. Although the delivery event at Giga Texas has concluded and the first owners of Cybertruck have been revealed, we often think that from now until the end of the year, there will be more silent waves of deliveries. However, deliveries for the dual motor and Cyberbeast versions are not expected to commence for more individuals until 2024. Meanwhile, the rear-wheel drive single motor configuration is not slated to launch until 2025. Above all, we've now gathered official information related to the Cybertruck to help decide whether or not to make a purchase. While the price may pose a challenge for some potential buyers, we believe it's worth buying due to its impressive specifications especially the dual-motor variant for customers who can't afford the Cyberbeast. This variant has quietly become Tesla's preference for outstanding development compared to the past. Through the Cybertruck, the true potential of the 4680 battery is revealed, raising expectations for its applications in other models from the manufacturer, such as the Model 2. If you're still hesitating to place an order, do it early to get this pickup as quickly as possible. 
So, how do you feel about the Cybertruck dual motor, as well as its performance parameters, and what do you think about the 2024 future of this pickup? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.